My name is Masuma Hedri Kalyan. And so my topic today is knowing Allah through motherhood. The struggles of motherhood can be really burdensome and they can be really challenging. But in it, I argue that motherhood actually brings you more happiness and more closeness to Allah. And so inshallah, I'll be talking about my experience as a mother and how children and motherhood inspire me. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Dear brothers and sisters, Salaam Alaikum. That moment, have you ever felt it, seen it, witnessed it, seen it through someone else's eyes? The crying of a baby, the coming of a human being into the world. When I was single and not married yet, my sister had a baby for the first time I witnessed a baby coming into this world. And I was in disbelief. What just happened, I thought to myself. Did a beautiful baby with perfect eyebrows, nostrils, nose, and cute little tiny toes just come into this world? How amazing is that? Stop, I thought. The world needs to stop and see what I'm seeing and feel what I am feeling. It is hands down one of the most incredible moments in life to watch life begin. It is through children and their inner fitrah that inspire us to see the truths in this world. Every single day, a baby is born. And they humble us. They humble us to also realize that one day, we too were ten tiny little fingers and ten tiny little hands yearning for the, inf- for the affection of our mother. Imam Hussein alayhi salam beautifully describes this in Du'ai Arafa. He shows us how, how mothers provide through Allah. I was taken care of in the cradle when I was a suckling infant, nursed on easily digestible wholesome milk, brought up in the lovingly caressing arms and bosoms, loved and cherished by mothers, kept safe, so let thou be praised and glorified, O merciful. See, motherhood isn't just a title or a label or an identity. It is a school. It is a school created by Allah for us to know him. And who are the teachers? The teachers are the children that he gives us, the children who inspire us and who bring us closer to him. One of the ways that you connect with Allah as a mother is witnessing that the love that Allah has for his creations. Ask any mother how much they love their child. They will not be able to put it into words. The love that a mother has for its child is a tiny drop of water in the ocean compared to the love that Allah has for its creation. So, for example, if a baby is crawling and there's a dangerous object in its way, your immediate instinct as a mother is to take that object away, even if the baby cries, because you love it so much. And it is through examples like that that we understand the wisdom of Allah and the insight, where sometimes a thing may be taken away from us, and Allah too is honoring us and protecting us and showing us His love. So, one might think, well, I don't necessarily think that motherhood brings you closer to Allah because I'm constantly stressed, it's burdensome, there are so many chores, I can't concentrate in my prayers when my thurba is taken away from my little toddler who runs off with it, or when it's salat time but there's a baby crying and you can't do your prayers exactly on their time, or you can't do the mustahab duas or Quran that you may have used to before. But see, Ibadah isn't just formal worship. Ibadah is a lifestyle. A lifestyle that motherhood shows is a constant opportunity to grow closer to Allah, from changing the diaper to feeding it, to teaching it bismillah, 
These are all chances to become closer to Allah. God consciousness is raised through being a mother. When I first came home from the hospital, and my husband eventually had to return back to work, and I no longer had help from family, and I was alone with the baby. I sat there with watching its eyes look at me, but also knowing that Allah was also watching me. There is a greater God consciousness that is felt where Allah is observing and watching what you do with that baby that he just gave to you and is from him as a borrowed trust. He watches what you teach it, what you don't teach it, what you say, what you don't say, and the presence of Allah is felt. Another beautiful way is witnessing milestones. A baby might be lying down and just staring at the ceiling, and then all of a sudden it moves, and it blows your mind from moments like rolling to crawling to walking to saying their first words. See, lots of things in this earth grow. For example, if you plant a seed, it grows and it becomes into a tree. But with milestones, you are given the opportunity to witness this change and see the glory of Allah and be chosen by him. He picked you to see that change, and that is enough to glorify him. Babies also teach us many qualities about ourselves that we didn't know we actually had and strengthen those. They teach us to have tawakkal, reliance on Allah, to be content and thankful, to yearn for knowledge, have humility, generosity, forgiveness, and patience, to just name a few. Patience is one of those things that every parent can testify that a child will teach you whether you want to learn it or not. It is through patience from that moment where you have to give up your desires and attend to that baby and know that that baby needs you and it needs you to be patient. And it also teaches you to be patient with other members in the household to know that these two adorable little eyes are watching you. It also teaches us to have contentment and gratitude. In the Quran, there are many verses where Allah emphasizes verily, very few of my servants are grateful. But if you look at a baby, it is in constant amazement and fascination and happy by the littlest things, like the flickering of a light or a ceiling fan that goes round and round or an airplane that goes in the sky, things that we take for granted day to day. It is these children that embody the hadith by Imam Musa Qazim Islam that says, Everything that the eye sees has a lesson in it. They also teach us absolute trust in Allah. In the middle of the night, a baby will wake up. But that moment when a mother comes in and it hears your mo the mother's voice and feels the mother's touch, it receives that reassurance. And once it receives that reassurance, it knows that the mother will always be there for it. This is beautifully shown to us in a story where Ayatollah Misbah narrates that Aga Bahjat once said to him, One day I was sitting in my room and could hear the voices in the street outside. I went outside and saw that my neighbor's son was playing in the street when a beggar approached him saying, I am a needy person. Can you please go into your house and get something for me? The boy replied, Why don't you ask your mother if you want something? The beggar said, I don't have a mother. You go and ask your mother to give me something. Aga Bahshit remarked, I was struck by this conversation and the innocence of the child who had so much trust and faith in his mother that he felt that she could solve any problem. And then he said, if only we could develop the same absolute trust and reliance on Allah that this child had in his mother. Indeed, all our problems would be solved. If only we sincerely turn to him for all, for all our needs. Last but not least, the beautiful way that we succeed in growing closer to Allah is by challenging ourselves and transforming ourselves and reforming ourselves to be the best example for our children by becoming the best you. See, children don't listen to you. They see what you do. 
for you are an example for them. Imam al Khomeini describes to, this to us when he says, be honest with children so that they turn out to be honest as well. The parents are the child's role model. The children are brought up well if you behave properly with them. If you say anything to children, make sure you keep your word. The initial point of any reform in man is himself. If man is not educated properly, he cannot educate others. This inspires us to be the best that we can be. And the best way and the best example for us is actually seen in Karbala. Karbala has the best parents and it has the best children. It produces children who turn to their father and say, Will this please Allah? If so, then death is better than honey. Inshallah, may we be inspired to have Husseini families in every household. And through that, raise children who are on the firm path. And while raising them, realize that they truly are raising us and bringing us closer to Allah. Thank you. Wassalam. Muhammad Ali Muhammad. Oh. Oh.